What up folks, it's Alex. Welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Now today I've got something really practical for you and it's called the Source Tape and it's only available within the cut page of DaVinci Resolve. Source Tape, simply put, is a really quick, efficient way to view all of your footage and cut it down onto your timeline. It's especially useful if you've shot a bunch of footage in chronological order. So if you've gone out and shot a vlog, for example, you've gone throughout the day and you've recorded bits as you've gone, you just put all that into one big clip and then cut it down to size as needed. Really effective and can really speed up your editing. So let's open the video resolve and I'll show you how to do it. So here we are folks and we're in the cut page for a change. All you need to do is to click on this icon here this middle icon of the three up in the top left of the preview to select the source tape. Now what the source tape will do is it'll take everything within your currently selected bin, so I've got all of these files here, and it'll put them together to create one big preview timeline. So I can just scrub right to the end of this, you can see it's one hour and five minutes long, and it's all of this different biking footage. Now what's really interesting about this is if we head into our media pool here, just click on this icon here, and then you can change the sort order. So we've got time code, camera, date and time, clip, and then we can do ascending and descending. So I obviously want it in date and time and ascending, so I'm gonna give that a click. And the order that they appear within the media pool is the order that they appear within the source tape. So if I just switch that to descending, you'll see this has now changed and we're playing everything backwards. So let's move that to ascending again. And the other nice thing, this works for different bins. So I'm going to right click on my media ball. I'm going to add a new bin. And we're just going to take these couple of clips here and we'll just move them into this bin. So now automatically those three clips have been removed from this source tape. And if we open up the bin number two, here's those three clips. And as you can see, it's created a source tape with just those three clips. So hopefully you can see how easy that becomes to view all of your clips in a chronological order on a preview timeline. And then from here, we can start to build up our actual timeline really quickly as well. So I'm gonna run through some quick keyboard shortcuts for you here. If I hit the space bar on my keyboard, I can start playing through this footage. Now there's also the J, K and L keys. So if you don't know these, if you hit L on your keyboard, you can start playing through. If I hit K, it will pause. If I hit L again, and then tap it again, it'll play through faster. And if I hit L again, it'll play through even faster still. So you can fast forward through this timeline much faster to find the points that you want. You can hit L as many times as you like to skip forward really, really fast. Now you can also, if you hold the K key down and then hold the L key down as well, you can play forward in slow motion. Now the exact same thing works with the J key. So if I hit J, it'll play backwards. If I hit it again, it'll play backwards at twice the speed and so on. If I hit K to stop, and then if I hold K and hold J, I can play back in slow motion. And then from here, we can start to select some of our clips to add to our timeline. So I'm just gonna hit the I key on my keyboard now, which fortunately is just above the J, K and L, so it's really handy to find. And that's gonna create a in point. So this is the start of the section I want to add to my timeline. And then we're gonna hit the L key to start playing forward. Let's fast forward a little bit. And let's say I want all of this footage going onto my timeline. So we're gonna stop about here. So I've just hit K. And now I'm gonna hit the O key on my keyboard to create an out point. So we did an in at the start of the section we wanted and an O at the end of the section. If we look at our timeline here, we can actually see that's been selected. There's this little box around it here. And then with that selected, we're just gonna hit the F9 key on our keyboard. And what that will do is take that small section that we've selected from our source tape and put it straight onto our timeline. So you can see we've got now a 30-ish second timeline. So now we can just hit either the space bar or the L key to start playing forward again. Let's fast forward a bit to the next section I want. And let's say it's from here. We're going to hit the I key or play until we've found the end of the section we want. We'll hit the O key and then we'll hit F9. And we've added that next section onto the end of our timeline. 
And then once you've finished cutting everything, you want to start doing some more in-depth editing. You can either stay within the cut page if you like the cut page, or you can jump into the edit page. Everything you've done will be there, ready, waiting to go, and then you can edit it as normal. It's a real nice, easy, quick way of getting through a lot of footage shot chronologically in a very short amount of time. And that's it folks, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope that was useful. I don't use it often enough, I forget that it's there half the time, but when I do remember, I did so for my biking video. It's really handy, really quick, and it's a really nice way of cutting things together. If you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback, as always, pop them down in the comments below. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Take it easy, and I'll uh, see you next time. See ya.